Okay. Um, just first, just want to congratulate Brandon and Kansas, his kids. They're they're obviously an NCAA tournament team, and wish them the very best. We they played, thought they played really well today. It didn't matter. I mean, we've been getting ready for them for four days now. Doesn't matter how much you get ready for Kerr Skeeter. She still makes threes. She made four out of six. Didn't matter how much we got ready for Samaya. She's still playing like the first team uh, all Big 12 player that she is. It doesn't matter how far you back off of Franklin. She still gets by you. And she's left-handed. And she still gets by you going left. And it was frustrating, you know, for us defensively just because we felt like we had to do a few things to – to kind of take away some of the things they're really good at. And, and we struggled doing that at times. We held them to 38% field goal percentage defense, which isn't bad for us. We, we'll take that probably every night. The, the three-point field goal percentage is disturbing at 46. But we fouled them so bad the first half. They were 10 for 11 at half. And we only put them on there uh, seven times in the second half. So we made a good adjustment there. We've got to make free throws. We, we were 16 for 25. but. Uh, 28-point fourth quarter, obviously, was probably the difference. Um, as I told Shay Holly, it's a whole lot easier coaching this game when you got a guard that can make a shot. And she made two big threes for us, made a shot in the lane for us. Um, I think she went on an 8-0 run by herself. And, um, you know, Booker had some really good looks in the first half, and, and they just didn't go. But I don't want her not taking those shots. Like, we've just – we were five for 19 in the second quarter, and every shot we got was really good. So proud of these kids, you know. Um, they just continue to fight and uh, compete, uh, find a way to win. Kansas is really good. That's probably the hottest team in the country. I mean, they've won nine out of ten, I think. Um, you know, some great wins. Again, I, I think the world of Brandon, I think he's a hell of a coach. And um, yeah, that was a, that's a really good win for us. And to play that well – down the stretch in the fourth quarter, again, we feel like that's our time. When it gets hard, and it was hard today uh, from the get-go, I thought. And um, when it gets hard, that's when it's about right for us. So we're going to give God the glory for number 28 and um, get ready for whoever wins this next one. Is that right? Is that we play the next one? Yeah. Okay. So I don't ever get – I can't ever tell you who the next one is, <laughs> except I'm just glad we got through this one. So – Proud of Aaliyah having a double-double, played, played really hard. And uh, Booker, I know she had seven assists, but she's going to tell you the one number that I really like is? Turnovers. She only had one. <laughs> so that's uh, drinks are on me. Uh, she Water? just, um, she really is getting it and, um, you know, running our team and, and doing a great job there. So, uh, again, excited about this group and, and what's in front of them. They continue to to uh, compete and amaze me. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of a group. All right, uh, questions for student athletes. Right here on the left, Dave. <laughs> Shay, just talk about your 8-0 run that Coach alluded to. It was a tight game going to the fourth and you basically put the game away. Um, yeah, I think Coach puts all of us in good positions to score and my teammates found me. Um, I maybe didn't take as many shots as I should have the first half. Um, but, I mean, we just want to be patient, get a good look. So the ball found me at a good time, and, you know, they went in. So. <laughs> All right. Question right here in the uh, left. Um, Aaliyah, last year you had to watch this tournament from the, from the bench. How did it feel to be kind of out there doing your thing and kind of getting back into tournament time? So good. <laughs> it feels amazing. Be able to go out there and just play with my teammates, um, see Shay do what she does, but actually be on the floor to witness <laughs> it and not on the sideline. Grateful, blessed, thankful that I'm in this position I am today. And it just, it took work. At the end of the day, the game took work tonight. Um, but yeah, just give God the glory and my teammates and my coaches and uh, everyone that supported me through what happened. Okay. Other questions with student athletes? Uh, in the back. Uh, when Kansas switched to that zone, just what were the adjustments like for y'all on the floor? Um, to still be aggressive and be patient. Uh, we definitely don't want to settle. We have really good four and five players, so try to utilize that as much as we can. But yeah, just to be patient, let the ball find the right person at the right time.
Yeah, I would agree. I think every time we reverse it, we don't realize somebody's going to be open and we just have to be patient. And I think that's a part of the reason why Shay might have got one of her threes because we reversed it and she was open and ready for the shot. So just be confident in our sets and be patient. Yeah, I think the second half, it, our shots fell. I think we were more patient. We played our pace of basketball. And we kind of just settled down, just like, just like reversed the ball around. And it found the right person at the right time. All right, standing on the left. Their center, Tayana Jackson, went out with four fouls early in the third quarter. How much of, did you guys want to take advantage of that you know, going down the stretch? Um, let's let um, Aaliyah, you can answer that first, and then if others. Uh, she's a, an amazing player, um, a force inside, and she alters a lot of shots, and we knew that coming into this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but, I mean, I think we did a great job of attacking. Uh, I've been in that position where I've been in foul trouble. And <laughs> so I think, but I think we did a great job attacking. At the end of the day, we had a game plan, and I think we executed well. Yeah, I mean, I agree with what Amos said. That was definitely we wanted to take advantage of it once she had to go out. Um, I think we have really strong post players, and so she's really good at, like she said, altering shots, just defense-wise, blocking shots, everything. So, yeah, having her out definitely changes their team a little bit, so we wanted to use, utilize that. I mean, yeah, she's 6'6", six, six, uh, <laughs> a force in the paint <laughs> for sure. Uh, when she went out, that's when we knew we had to keep, like, keep keeping the ball to Taylor or Deanna. And, um, yeah, that worked for us a lot. Okay, we have time for one more for student athletes. Anyone? All right, right here on the left. Um, Shay, is, is, is this team focusing at all on the NCAAs and the projections and all that stuff? Or how, how are you all keeping your focus on Kansas City and what's happening this weekend? One game at a time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're definitely focused on what we're, what we're trying to get to right now is the Big 12 championship. That's what's on our mind. So, you know, one game at a time here. Once we get back home, we'll start prepping. Um, obviously, we all know what's at stake, and we know we're in a very blessed position, and uh, we just need to put our head down and work. But, yeah, we're definitely focused on being Kansas City right now, Big 12 championship, as it now says on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right, thanks to the student-athletes. We'll Thank have uh, some questions for Coach, but you guys are, are right. Thank you. Back to the locker room. Okay, good, luck. good luck Monday. Thank you. Good job, Shay. Okay, uh, front left. Coach, each of the last three seasons, you've started the year with Shea on the bench, and then at some point she migrates into the starting lineup and things just start to click for your team. What is it about her that makes everything work around her? It doesn't, it doesn't matter where I start with her. She's, she's just a winner. Like, the kid's just a winner. You can't, it doesn't matter, you can try to recruit over or try to get, it doesn't matter. Like the kid stays in the picture. And that's what you want kids to do when, when they come in as freshmen and they're struggling and, you know, there's other people playing and they're way down the bench. Shay's just stayed in the picture her whole career. And I've called her the glue from day one this year, even when, before Rory was hurt. And she's still the glue to our team. I mean, those two shots she makes tonight, the two threes and then the, the one in the lane, I mean, that's really the difference in the second, in the fourth quarter in the, in the game is it's just a whole lot easier to coach this game when you've got a guard that can make a shot. And obviously Booker made some in the second half, but um, she's just a winner. Like, you, you, you just have to really – appreciate somebody like her she played like I get the same every day I know what I'm gonna get from Shay Ali like she's a happy kid she's smiling she works extremely hard she never has a bad day I never have to uh, motivate her to play hard she's just a winner and the kid's gonna be I don't know what company she's gonna own or start with but I'm investing in it because she's gonna be successful no matter where she, no matter what she does, um, but the kid just has stayed in the picture her whole career, and she's a great kid. Every time she's out there and she plays well, like I just, there's a thought in my mind that that kid deserves it. She just does. She's 
she works hard. She does the intangibles. She's, she's gotten better. Like you have no idea how much that kid's improved in her career, but it's because she's made herself into a big 12 player. Like the kid works and she doesn't get down and, and she's let me coach her. Um, so I can, I can sit up here and praise her or the whole press conference, but at the end of the day, she's the glue to our team. She's a winner and she does what it takes to help you win. You can't take kids like that off the floor. I don't care who they are. They help you win. Along the wall to the back left. Uh, first of all, coach, can you uh, share a few of the notes that you wrote down earlier? Right here? Yes. Yeah, well, they asked her what we were focused on, and I wrote Big 12 Championship. Oh, on so, your own notes. I, yeah. saw you, I saw you scribbling on your own. Oh, I, I, so every time I get a – when I come to the press room, if there's a box around any of these numbers, that's bad, it, unless it's the opponent. Then it's, and then if there's a circle, it's good. So I'm boxing and circling up here. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. And then uh, I see y'all – y'all consistently got some open mid-race jumpers. Was that part of the game plan for y'all? Open – Mid-range. Yeah. I mean, our team has lived off of it. You know, my media makes a big deal about our inability to make threes. We're 28 and four, and our, we, our average margin of victory in the Big 12 is double digits. So it doesn't matter. As long as we can make shots, like, that's what matters. Shea made a couple of threes tonight. I think we went, okay, two for eight. That's about par, isn't it, Danny? About par for us, but we still scored. We led the league in, in offense most of the year. I, we might have lost it right at the last, but, I mean, we work really hard with our guards on getting to the mid-range. And it's part of our game. It's, it's, but I've got kids that can make mid-range. Shea Holly and Madison Booker are mid-range, and they're really good players from there. So why not play to their strengths? Um, so, yeah, that, you know, we got there tonight, and I thought our kids, you know, we were five for 19 in the second quarter, and I, there wasn't a shot we took other than Booker losing hers at the very last of the end of the quarter. There wasn't a shot we took I didn't think wasn't a good shot. So. All right, over in the right, back. Coach, this game featured two of the best freshmen in the conference. We know already what you think of your own. Can you expand on your thoughts on Samaya? Oh, boy, she's really good. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to look at her for three more years. She's uh, she's really special. Um, kind of struggled at our place a little bit, but I mean the whole team did. And it, you know it's just one of those road games. That's what I attribute it to. It it kind of got sideways early with them, and it kind of got away. But they played so well since then. I mean they're hot, and playing well, and Samaya's been a big part of that. And she's hard to deal with now. I mean she's just a big physical guard. Um, gets you down there, backs you down there, uh, and, and it's hard to deal with her once she gets you deep in the lane. So they're going to be – I don't know what you know where they're going to be in the NCAA tournament, but ain't anybody going to be going goody, goody, goody we get Kansas because they're tough. They got size. They got great guard play. Like, I challenged my guards at halftime because I thought our guards were getting beat, and I knew that was the key to the game was going to be guard play. I know they have big – a big, we have bigs, but at the end of the day, you win with guard play. And I thought their guards were kind of getting – I think they had 27 points at half of their 29. 27 were by Kurskeeter, um, Samaya, and um, Zakaya. I mean, that was, that was it. So I challenged my guards at halftime. I thought they answered the bell. Time for one more, if there is. Okay, right here in the, the left. You got plans? Yeah. Dave. <laughs> I get this all the time. Vic, uh, how do you handle the day out tomorrow? And do you like this new format where there's a break between the quarterfinals and the semifinals? Yeah, it's okay. Um, you know, I, I think for us, um, it'll be good. Um, I think we get an hour in here, and um, and so we'll we'll utilize it. And um, whoever we have to play, we'll we'll um, you know we're we're pretty familiar with both of them. It's been a long time since we played West Virginia. Is that who's playing next? Okay, so it's West Virginia and K-State. K -State. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while since we've played West Virginia. Like, that was like the third game of the year, wasn't it? Third conference game. So um, K-State we've played twice and had two really, you know, tough ball games. So um, I feel like I've, I've, I've got a, a, a pretty good handle on both of them, but we'll see how it all shakes out. And then tomorrow we'll be, we'll be careful. We'll, uh, 
but we got, you know, we'll have to go through some things. And I really want to get in here and get some shots. I, I know we haven't, you know, they gave us 45 minutes the day before yesterday, I think. Uh, it might have been yesterday. I can't remember. What is today? Saturday? Today is. Was it yesterday? Huh? Okay. We were in here yesterday, 45 minutes. So that's not a lot for your shooters to get comfortable. So we'll spend some time getting shots and, uh, but I mean, I gotta be careful. My kids have gotta get in a cold tub right now, which they just absolutely love. And, um, and then we'll, we'll be careful with them tomorrow, but it's a great format. I, I, I like it. I don't, I don't mind taking the, the day as long as I'm not having to go home. So it'll be good. We'll get to practice and have a day and, our kids are really good. They're real intentional on their on their preparation. Like they're going to be locked in on film. They'll be locked in on what we're going to do tomorrow with whoever we got to guard. Um, pretty much two different teams completely. So um, the turnaround will be pretty quick. Uh, but our kids have been so intentional all year. It's a it's a typical older team in that regard, and they're chasing the championship. I mean, this you know. Things happen. We didn't win the regular season. Now we got a chance to win a tournament championship. That's our focus. When that one's done, whenever it is, then we'll focus on the next one. And they've been pretty good about that. So, um, again, it's this group is they're just special, y'all. I've been doing this a long time. I've not been around a group like this who shouldn't. Back on December twenty seventh. We could have won, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of people probably gave this group a snowball's chance, as my dad would have said, to be where they are today. And all they've done is done it. And the, and the answer to that, y'all, is you never question what's inside somebody's breastplate. And these kids have got a big old heart. And they play pretty well together, and they're having fun. So it's fun to coach them. Thank you so much. Good luck. Enjoy the day off. All right. Praise the Lord and hook of horns.